Let's do the practice buddy together today for 1-6. We are using addition to subtract. Now that sounds kind of confusing. How are we using addition to subtract? Those seem like almost opposites, but they can actually work together is basically what that idea is, is counting on. So yesterday we practiced counting back from the biggest number on a number line or counting on by starting at the smallest number and counting up and seeing how many jumps we took to get to the bigger number. So that's basically what we're doing today is we're gonna start at the smaller number and count our way up. So we'll be adding instead of subtracting to find the same number. But let's work through a few together so that we can wrap our brains around that a little bit. So we are practicing counting on and it's gonna help us with our subtraction. Okay, another thing to remember today is those doubles. So anytime that we're adding doubles or subtracting, we're looking for those doubles. Two plus two is what? Three plus three, six. Four plus four, eight. All of those doubles up, nine plus nine, 18. When we remember those doubles, it's gonna help our brains to kind of fill in the missing numbers for us the more and more we practice. So let's do these together today before you do them on your own. So we're going to start with the number one here, and it says enter the missing numbers, okay? Enter the missing numbers. We're looking at the equation 17 take away 9 is equal to what? 17 take away 9 is equal to what? First, if I wanted to think about those doubles, what's 9 plus 9? 9 plus 9 is 18. So I know that's one less. We're looking for 17. I wonder if I could try eight. If I know nine plus nine is 18, I need one less. I could do nine plus eight is equal to 17. Or I can count up. So I can start at nine and I can count up until I get to 17. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have eight fingers up. So nine plus eight is equal to 17. So going back to our original equation then, let's put that number right in here because we know that this is a fact family. Our three numbers we're looking at are 17, nine, and eight. Those are our fact family numbers right there. So let's put eight right here. 17 take away nine is equal to eight. Good job, you found it. Let's move on to the next one. Enter the missing numbers. So same thing, they're gonna give us the equation. 12 take away eight is equal to blank. So to figure that out, we can always start counting up. Let's start at that littler number. Let's start at eight and let's see how many it would take. How many jumps up on the number line would it take us to get to 12? You can use your fingers if you want, tallies on a scratch piece of paper or use the number line, whatever works best for you. Okay, so let's start at eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I made four jumps up on the number line. Also, let's look at the number. What's eight plus eight? Kind of helps us a little bit. We know we have to kind of figure that out, but if we use a double, we can kind of use those, okay, there's just four in between in our head. But you can always subtract down if you wanted to. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. It's just a couple extra steps. So using that eight plus four equals 10, we're still using that same number in the fact family to get our answer. Great job. Next, choose the difference. So we know when they're asking us to find the difference, that means subtraction. When we find the difference, we are subtracting. So let's look, 15 take away seven is equal to what? Well, we know that we can put that bigger number, that can be our equal, and we can add and count up to find the missing number as well. So let's start at seven and let's count up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have eight fingers up on my hand as I counted up from seven to 15. I made eight jumps up on the number line if I was going up like that. So 15, take away seven must be that same number in our fact family. If we found an eight works right here, we know that it's gonna be the same number in our fact family. I 
got to scroll down so I can submit. We did it again. Good job. Let's go on to the next one. Select the numbers from the drop down menus to complete the subtraction equation and related addition fact. So we are just going to be looking the same thing, but we get to do it on our own, which is kind of fun. So we're going to look at the equation. 14 take away blank is equal to 9. Well, let's see. Let's try to fill. We know a little bit about our fact family. We know two of the numbers in our new addition equation. So let's enter them. We start with the biggest number, and that is going to go at the end. That's what it's going to equal if we're adding the two smaller add-ins. So 14 is going to be what we're going to equal. Let's do the drop down and select 14. We know one of our numbers, one of our add-ins in our fact family. So let's put 9 right here. And let's try to count up from 9 and see how many jumps up bum, 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 it takes to get to 14. Ready to count with me? So we start at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have five fingers up on my hands. How many do you have up? Five. Nine plus five is equal to 14. So if we found out five, there's five jumps in between 9 and 14, what number would I put right here? 14 take away five. That's our, another num that's our other number in our fact family. Let's do 14 take away five equal to nine. Either way, we've, we've solved it. Great job. Next page. Kendrick has 16 crayons. So he gave seven crayons to Yuri. How many crayons does Kendrick have now? So I always love these story problems because I get to do, use that, that word that we love so much, visualize, and I get to create a little story in my head. So if I picture Kendrick and he's holding, he has his, probably his hands together holding 16 crayons and he gave seven of those away. I know it's going to be a subtraction problem because he's handing those crayons away. He's not getting any more that he's adding to his pile of crayons. So let's look at these equations below and see which ones that we could use to solve this problem. Okay, so right away 16 take away 7. 16 take away 7. There we go. There goes our answer, right? We can always count up from 7, seven or 9, and we can count up to get all the way to 16. Start at 7 and count up, see how many jumps to get to 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have nine fingers up on my hands, so we know this one's right. Let's mark that one. Let's look at this one. 16 take away 6 equals 10. Well, that's true equation. 16 take away 6 does equal 10, but does our problem up here have anything to do with 6? Are we taking 6 crayons away? Do we have a 10 anywhere in our fact family? No, that one doesn't make any sense to me. If it was 7, that would make sense, but it's 6, so I'm going to skip that one. Let's look at the next. 9 plus 7 equals 16. Well, let's look at this fact family. We know that these are the three numbers that we're working with. So it has to have a 16, a 7, and a 9. And we know in a fact family, the two smaller numbers have to equal the biggest. Does this work? 9 plus 7, okay, 9 plus 7 has to equal what? 16. You guys, it totally works. Let's mark that one too. Let's look at this one. These are the same numbers in our same fact family. Do they make sense to us? Let's check it out. Looks like they've just swapped the seven and the nine and they do equal 16. That makes sense to me. I'd mark that one as well. Oh, no more options. Let's click done. Nice job. Let's go on to the next question. Wanda has 11 apples. She used five apples to make a pie. Same thing, I put a picture in my head of Wanda holding 11 apples in her hand. And let's look down and scroll down and see which one makes sense. So I'm looking and five plus five does equal 10, but 
that has nothing to do with my equation. I'm looking for 11 take away 5. So although that's true, I'm not going to mark that one. It doesn't make sense to my question. Let's look at 5 plus 6. Well, 5 plus 6, does that equal 11? Yes, it does, which is what we're looking for. 11 take away 5. We know that that's the same fact family. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So that definitely would help us. And it's an addition fact that could help us find how many apples Wanda has left. Let's look at the next. 11 take away 5. It does equal 6. That's the same. But is that the addition fact that can help us find how many apples she has left? No, so I better not mark that one. And 11 plus 5 equals 16. That doesn't have anything to do with our question at all. So I think we found our answer. Let's scroll down and see. Great job. Good job, everyone. Now go back and do this on your own and watch the visual learning and do a quick check to make sure we understand what's going on today. Thank you so much.